Hello, welcome back. Myself Fazana, and today's session is about Spacey. Before we dive into Spacey, let's start with simple phrase. From this statement, what is your expectation from Spacey? To identify keyword, case sensitive, or splitting into word. Don't worry, Spacey will do more than this. Let's start with pipeline. Once we are familiar in this, we start building our own model, but that will be discussing in the upcoming session. Without wasting time, come, let's in. Here we are passing the raw text data, which is nothing but text where a machine can't understand. We will be processing with certain set of activities like tokenizer, tagger, and so on. And the final output is nothing but document where a machine can understand. What is Spacey? It's a free open source library for advanced natural language processing. As a data scientist, we are gifted to have a package like Spacey. Why this hype? Come, let's check. Before we go in detail, we want to understand the two main concepts. One in text data, one is corpus and the other one is sentence. Corpus is a collection of text data. Let's understand with the simple example. One month pay slip will fall under sentence and a collection of pay slip like one year or two year which falls under corpus. Let's discuss about prerequisites before we start progressing with Spacey. To install Spacey, we have to pass the command pip install Spacey. Next step is we have to import the trained model. What is this? Let's check in detail. This is the official website of Spacey. Here we can see these are all the language supported in Spacey. And in our session, we are going to use the language English. And what is this? EN stands for English. Core stands for model. Here we have two models. One with core model which is used for general purpose and other one is the starter model. Web, web. Here it trained from multiple sources like article, web, books and blog. SM stands for small. Here the size is 11 MB and the accuracy falls between 85 to 97. MD stands for medium. The size is 48 MB and accuracy falls between 85 to 97. LD stands for large. Size is 746 MB. Accuracy falls between 86 to 97. Even though accuracy is good, Spacey has some challenges when it comes to domain specific. But no need to worry. We will be discussing in the later session. Now we go back to the process techniques. The first and foremost important is tokenization, which is the foundation step in NLP. What it does? It will split a text into word, symbol, punctuation, and other element. Let's start discussing with word token. What Spacey is telling? Hey, you don't want to do n number of lines of programming, but do me a favor, just pass a command NLP. Yes, to make the system understandable, we have to pass this command NLP before passing the phrase. Here we are reading the document. Enumerate, it will display the index. So here we are printing the data with the index. And the sentence is split into document. If we notice, the word it is split into two, it and s. Yes. Spacey has some limitation or challenging that we will be discussing in the later session how to handle this. And the next is sentence tokenization. By default, Spacey will understand it's a word token. To explicitly mention it is a sentence tokenization, we have to pass the keyword sent. So here the output is displayed with the index as well as with the phrase. If we are not using Spacey, as a developer, what we have to do? 
we have to use some regular expression or using the dot command and so on. The next and interesting technique is lemmatization. What is lemmatization? It is the process of reducing a word to its base form. If we have more number of token, we have more dimension. Lemma is the root word which is used here. Let's understand what is that. Here I am passing a simple statement. Practice, practice, practicing. Let's see how it, the lemma is treating here. The main keyword is token.text, token.lemma. Here we found practice is categorized as practice, practice also practice, practicing also practice, which means that all these three words are fallen under one bag, which is nothing but practice. Hope it's clear. Now we go with the paragraph. Here I am passing one one para blah 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 so let's I, let's check what is this here in the above example the output format is not so clear so here we are using the method dictionary to display in the proper format here he is identified as pronoun was is categorized with b as auxiliary crying as cry which falls under verb the falls under the it falls under the category falls under the category DET. What is the DET? Let's check. DET is nothing but determiner. Here also it explained with an example. So whenever we have some issues or some need to get clarified, directly jump into Spacey website. And the other way of formatting is using pandas. Here it will display in the tabular format. And the next technique is stemming. So what is the difference between lemmatization and stemming? When to use which technique? If you are applying grammar rule, blindly go with lemmatization. If you are not applying any grammar rule, go with stemming. Let's go with an example. Normally the word WhatsApp, we use WhatsApping. But WhatsApping is not a proper grammar word. So in that cases, we have to go for a technique stemming, not with lemmatization. So when to go with the lemmatization? Like sentiment analysis or movie review, we can go for a lemmatization. If it is specific to domain related, like uh, medical, legal, question answer, insurance, go for stemming. Which is faster? Stemming is much faster when compared to lemmatization. Do you know the reason why? Because in lemmatization, we have pre-trained libraries with like uh, grammar rules and so on. That is the reason to implement that. It will take uh, it will take time when compared to stemming. So last but not the least, hope the session is good. If you found this content is really useful, please do like, share, subscribe and stay tuned for the next session. Till then, Fazana signing off.